Let's talk about Sylvanas Winra and how she became the Banshee Queen and the leader of the Forsaken. Sylvanas was one of three sisters, Elaria Windrunner and Verita Windrunner. Sylvanas was one of the most skilled hunters in her family. This talent would earn her the title of Ranger General of Silvermoon. And at this time, Sylvanas was the commander of all the Quelf Last military forces. One day, one of Sylvanas' scouts came back to her and said that the undead were marching on Quelf Last. And the person leading these undead was Arthas Menethil. His mission was to go to Quelphalas, take control of the Sunwell, and resurrect the wizard Kelfazad as a lich. When Arthas and the undead finally got to Quelphalas, Sylvanas was very shocked at how powerful the Scourge actually was. The Scourge was that powerful that every time one of Sylvanas' troops died, it came back as one of the Scourge. Near the end of the fight, Sylvanas told her troops to fall back, and then she had to fight Arthas herself. Sylvanas fought bravely, but ultimately she lost the fight against Arthas, and he stabbed her with Frostmourne. Arthas denied Sylvanas the piece of death, which made her a banshee under his control. He kept her body in a chest just for a bit of an extra little torment, and then Sylvanas was made to watch in horror Arthas kill all of her kin. Arthas succeeded in his mission and resurrected Kelfazad as a lich. After the fall of Quoplas, Arthas' powers were draining from him. The reason for this was Frostborn was away from the Ice Throne Citadel in Northrend, so Arthas had to return to Northrend to merge with the Lich King to retain his full power. With his power diminished, Sylvanas found her will was her own again. Sylvanas had been able to cover her body from the chest which Arthas stored it in, but it wasn't only Sylvanas who had the will of her own, it was also some of the Scourge also. Sylvanas and the undead who actually followed her made a vow to take revenge on Arthas who made him this way. With the small of army of undead, Gnolls, Murlocs and Ogres, they defeated three Dreadlords and took control of Lordaeron. And then later on, Lordaeron would be the capital city of the Forsaken and Sylvanas would be the Banshee Queen.